So it seems the rumor mill has struck again, and this time it's for a franchise that I absolutely adore. It seems that Sony and Konami have struck a deal to bring back the beloved Castlevania franchise. These rumors have been going around for a long time, however recently even Jez Corden from Windows Central weighed in on the matter. Just look at this tweet that was put out where he was asked about whether or not Bluepoint was working on a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. And Jez replied with this, not sure about that, just heard Sony landed a deal with Konami for Silent Hill, Metal Gear, and maybe even a new Castlevania. And while this does seem like a triple whammy, there might be some truth to some of this, as we already know that the upcoming Silent Hill 2 remake does have an exclusivity deal with Sony. So we could already see some sort of partnership between Konami and Sony has been formed. Now whether these other franchises come out as exclusive to the PlayStation ecosystem is yet to be seen, after all, this is all just pure speculation at this point. And I know that Metal Gear and Silent Hill are massive franchises, however in this video I want to narrow this down and really just focus on Castlevania making a return. And what I would like to see from the franchise if it does make a comeback. But before we take a deep dive into this, I want to take a moment and welcome anyone new to the channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I got a ton of stuff in the works that I'd love to share with you all. Also, if if you do happen to enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like but anyways guys we got a lot to get into so without further ado let's get into it so like i said before all of this is just pure rumors and speculation and it's been around for a very long time but it seems more and more insiders are reporting on hearing information that might actually give some weight to these rumors besides us fans just daydreaming about these awesome ips coming back however I want to point out that this is not just insiders and rumor spreaders or whatever you want to call them. In fact, Eric Williams, the game director behind God of War Ragnarok, came out a while ago and said he would love to make a Castlevania game. Should Konami be willing to outsource the license? And after how we saw they were willing to outsource their IP for Silent Hill? After all, look how many Silent Hill games are in the works at the moment. I think Konami would be not very shy about outsourcing their other IPs. Now while so many other YouTube videos deep dive and go down these insiders and these rumor speculations and sort of go down the Twitter rabbit hole, I wanted to take a different approach and just talk about three different Castlevania games I would love to see be made. After all, I think it's much more to daydream and actually talk about video games instead of just going down and bringing up quotes from the different insiders and supposedly leaked information. So starting off, since we're, we're just talking about Eric Williams, I actually want to see him get his hands on this IP and see his take on a Castlevania game. However, I want to make it clear. I don't want this just to be a God of War Ragnarok clone. I would much rather have this game play more like the original God of War trilogy or like a Ninja Gaiden style game. Just much quicker combat, more platforming, and more of that old school hack and slash type of game. I know that we did have Castlevania Lord of Shadows 1 and 2, however I think with Sony Santa Monica Studios behind a third person 3D Castlevania, we would just get a much better overall game than what we got with the Lord of Shadow series. And honestly, I think that's something I would greatly enjoy. In fact, I think Eric Williams would be perfect for this type of game. After all, not only was he the director of Ragnarok, he was also the combat designer of the original God of War game and even listed as the lean designer for the combat systems in God of War 2. So we know the man knows how to make an incredible combat system. The second type of game I would love to see made in the Castlevania franchise is just a simple 2D platformer action game. Just like the classic Vania series was back on the NES, the Super Nintendo, and the PS1. However, I don't want this just to be another 8-bit style retro indie game. I actually make this game have modern, great looking graphics with updated smooth controls and all the works. In fact, 
take the element that made Rondo of Blood so great and expand upon them. Have it so that if you take different branching paths, you play different levels. Have it so if you find secret doors, it leads you to a different way to beat the game. I feel like Rondo of Blood really did revolutionize the classic Vania formula way back in 1993. However, for the last 30 years, Konami never really pushed that formula forward, which is really a shame. I feel like Cynthia the Knight came out so close to that franchise, or so close to Rondo of Blood, that going forward, they mainly made metroidvania type of games instead of the classic vania games so that is something i hope that they come back strong with and like i said really have rondo of blood be the main focus but expand upon those elements that made that game so great so for the third type of game i would love to see made in the castlevania universe may shock some of you because it's not a metroidvania style game. After all, while I would play one of those if it did come out, I feel like the market has just been flooded with that type of game. So I'd rather see them take their hands and try something else. And there's actually one genre that I've always dreamed about seeing Castlevania in, and that is an isometric action RPG. Think of a Diablo type clone in the Castlevania universe. I love that genre and I've always thought that the monsters and the overall atmosphere of the Castlevania universe would translate very well to that type of game. Plus, it would just be something completely new and fresh for the franchise. And action RPGs are on the rise. So why not capitalize on that and actually make one out of your own IP? Instead of fighting through hordes of demons just to face Diablo, we could fight through hordes of monsters to finally face Dracula. Plus, how cool would it be to fight all the classic monsters along the way? As we build up our arsenal, clad loot, build our character to take on the big baddie himself. There is so much lore and depth to this series that would really make a great dark ARPG that I think could actually compete with Diablo if it is done right by the right team. So before I wrap the video up, I want to bring up one last point, and that is no matter what type of game they decide to make, they have to capture the Castlevania atmosphere. One thing I'm more worried about is that they try to just do that generic, dark European type of setting, but Castlevania to me was always so much more than that. It felt like a love letter to the classic horror movies. When I fight Frankenstein, I want him to actually look like Frankenstein's monsters. When I fight the mummy, I want it to actually look like a mummy. Please don't do some stupid twist like in Lord of Shadows, when you enter Frankenstein's castle and you think you're finally going to face one of the classic monsters and instead you fight that weird scorpion robot creature. It made the game feel super generic and it really just did not feel like Castlevania at all. However, those are the three games that I definitely want to see made in this franchise if it does make a return. But I want to hear what you all think. Are you guys excited to see Castlevania making a comeback? What are some of the type of games you would love to see made in this IP? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.